Are you being adorable? <gasps> we are gonna go shopping with our dogs and buy everything they sniff. Are you my little psychic? Why are you being like? <laughs> you know I like the vanilla creamy concealer. What have I done to you? What's up you guys? And welcome to Clever Style. Hi. And hello to our pups. Guys, this is Linus. Do you guys remember Linus? If you're wondering why we have our dogs today, well, it's not just for fun, cute aesthetics because we're two hot girls carrying a two cute dogs. Ow. We are gonna go shopping with our dogs and buy everything they sniff. Y'all, we're talking anything they touch, sniff, pee on, do dog things to, we have to buy it. That's hot. We're gonna take them to the Grove, which is an outdoor mall in LA. It's so much fun. You can take your dogs, you can take them into the stores, and we're basically gonna go to like three or four stores each, and whatever they sniff and gravitate towards and touch, we have to buy. We have to buy it. Now, I know Linus, he has a mind of his own. He's one of those guys that like takes you on a date that's like, I'm gonna order for us. Like, I love that. And so I just know he's gonna go out on a limb and choose things that I won't even have tried. See, I don't know. I will just be lucky if Peaches just makes it through the day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and don't go anywhere because at the end of this video, we're gonna do an entire haul of every thing they picked out for us. So we're actually gonna commit. We're gonna put our money where our dog's nose and mouth is. Sniffed. So stay tuned, because we're gonna do a little haul. It's going down. That counts, Bridget, I promise. I'll allow it. Okay, nothing at Aloe apparently. I'm really pissed about this. We talked about this beforehand. You can go to Aloe. You know I like Aritzia. You can go to Sephora. You can cream blush. You say makeup. You know I like the vanilla creamy concealer. By the grace of God, they let us into Sephora. I'm gonna let her down to see where she goes. Ooh, foundation. Wait, where's the highlighters? Oh, we got a sniff. You guys saw, I didn't lie. She sniffed the foundations at Fenty. If I must, pull my leg. <laughs> Good. He picked out three things I have literally never used before. Are you my little psychic? What have I done to you? Just be lucky if Peaches just makes it through the day. <laughs> it became personal with me. We're back from our really fun days shopping with the girls with and the boys. Pups. Right off the bat, Linus and Peaches really wanted to go to Sephora. Sephora was the perfect dog entrance because it was super wide, had a lot of smells and scents. Yep. The first thing that Linus gravitated to was this Urban Decay stand and on their bottom shelf, they had their foundation. He like touched my color. 
What? He made sure to grab like a color we thought would be best for me. He actually like really nailed it. I noticed he did this thing all day where he would like pull to just the back of every store. What's he, like, that about? I don't know, what is that about? He's like, I have my methods and you don't need to know about <laughs> it. So then he goes to the back where it was like hair section and he found Way and we actually carried him for this one because the Way hair stuff at the bottom was all sold out. So we like lifted him up and he went straight for this little perfume duo, which kind of makes sense because perfume has like a stronger smell yeah. than anything. And so he was like really entranced by it. So we grabbed this Way Melrose Place perfume. Crack that baby open. Oh my gosh, that smells really nice. Right. Oh, that smells so nice. It's like white. And smells like a bubble bath. Good choice. Good job, Good Lynn. Good job. But last but not least, we veered him around and he went to the Dr. Dennis Gross skincare section. Ooh. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Stress Repair Face Cream. Their stuff is really good. I love that. I like repairing my stress. Yeah. Maybe Lyons is trying to send you a message. He's that like, I'm stressed. stressed. I want you to calm down. Totally. You know? Well, you're like a lot of my stress, Linus. I just, I can't be with you enough throughout the day. And then when I'm with you, you're a little bit stressful. So Peaches, first of all, was very chill. Didn't really want to sniff much. Mm. She did sniff Fenty. I'm not saying I put her there, but she sniffed it, okay? Oh, look, are we right by the Fenty section? That's so weird. And you know what? She sniffed the foundation. <laughs> Crazy. It's my color. She just sniffed my color, but her nose went in the foundation direction. And that was the whole point. We knew they weren't going to be perfect. Right. They don't speak English. Oh my God. Are you being adorable? <gasps> They're both napping right I now. think I might start crying. Fenty has a foundation that's like a dewy finish. Okay. This is the matte Matt. finish. But it was still in the foundation family, so I was like, good job. Joyce Peaches, yeah. we love Fenty. Yes, she is a Fenty dog. Okay, so as you guys can see, I had to hold Peaches a lot and it's because she just got surgery. She's 15 years old and like surgery at 15 is rough on a pup. So yeah. I had to hold her. I didn't want her to pee all over the floor because she has old lady bladder. <laughs> so I just let her nose do the talking. Yeah, she no. Some things. Peaches was a good sport. Yeah. I think she's gonna fall asleep. Next are doggos. Led us straight into the Diptyque store. And they were like actually on a mission. I think it's because that store is so fragrant. Yeah, I know. She wanted nothing to do with it. She was so disinterested. <laughs> and I was like, Peaches, this stuff smells good. She was like, no. None of the candles were on the floor. So at that point, I picked him up and kind of let his nose lead. And he like touched one of the candles. Oh my God. He like straight was like, mm, you. So the one he chose was Pomander. It says Bougie Parfume on the front. Mm. You know what? Wait, do you remember this? It? Now he literally wants nothing to Wait, do with I want it. To see if he just wants to smell. So Peaches sniffed her way into the Nike store. And I was like, Peaches, the Air Forces are that way. And she wanted nothing to do with the shoes. I know. And then she moseyed on over to where the sports bras were. And she gave it a good sniff. Oh. So I got myself this oh, cute. cute sports bra. I love this. I love the color. It That's in cute. Colors. Peaches, do you remember picking this out? Do you remember? Do you sniff it? The last store that Peaches moseyed on into was Nordstrom. And at first I was so excited because I was like, the shoe section is yeah. right there when you first So many walk options. In. Peaches wanted absolutely nothing to do with the shoes. So then we went upstairs to the clothing section. And I was looking at these jeans. I had Peaches in my hand. And she just kept like directing her vision up. And I was like, what is up? I didn't want to look. And lo and behold, oh. Peaches picked out this absolutely heinous dress. <laughs> We didn't even look at the price tag. For oh, whatever no. reason, we're like, oh, hi, whatever, it's funny, it's so ugly. We got to the cashier and she's like, that'll be 140. And we really started cracking up because it was like, of course, Peaches will skip everything. Wasn't sniffing anything all day. All of a sudden we get to Northern, she's like, I want this fuggly ass dress. Look at her, she's hiding. Like, she's she ashamed. She knows. No, she's not. She thinks it's funny. I'm sure she thinks it's funny. That's what Peaches would do. Okay, so Linus saw a cute little poodle baddie going into Zara and he was like, what's up? Uh, lucky. He started to go towards some of the shoes on the bottom racks of everything and he'd be like, okay, like I'll sniff you. And then they wouldn't have my size. So we went up to the second floor and I just basically held him and walked down this wall just to see if he went towards anything. Yeah. And he got attention to this coat, not a puffer. So this is my new coat. You will wear that all the time. I thought that was cute. I think he, like everyone else in my life, is sick of my puffer obsession. So he was like, mom, we need to have an intervention. Like, you're done. And I was like, fair, okay. Wait, pull these puppies out because those are cute AF. Literally puppies. He decided to just start taking a nap in front of these shoes. He was like, I'm sign. done. This is where you're gonna land. And he sat in front of these shoes that were my size. You know what that was? He wasn't taking a nap. He was like, oh, dead. These are perfect. He literally was like, dead, I'm dead. That I'm falling asleep Those are here. so cute. And they were my size, so we were just like, it's a sign. The funny thing is, Linus understands what shoes are, because whenever I put my shoes on every day, he knows it's like the final step I, I need to take to go out on a walk. 
Wow. That's poetic. Wow, he's so tired. He didn't, he didn't even, even respond play. to W A L K. You guys did so well. Some did better than others, <laughs> but it's fine. She got you that Fenty. You sure did, Peaches. You did a very good job. And maybe she just wanted to like test out something different. And I'm proud of her because this is her like first time out in the wild after surgery, yeah. you know? And I'm proud of Linus. He really, one of his strongest suits is just pulling full force with no like end in sight, but yeah. he really just like went into certain stores and I was so proud of his confidence. Gusto. Such a good job and we're gonna give them T-R-E-A-T-S soon, so don't even worry. Sure are. I had so much fun today. I did too, this was so much fun. Bring your doggo to work day. 